Hello, this is Jorge Escobar. Uh, it's been a long time since I recorded uh, a video for YouTube, so here it is. Uh, I've been learning a lot about uh, artificial in intelligence, and I am actually working on creating chatbots. So my first project on AI is this one over here. It's basically a chatbot, uh, and it's... Um, uh, let me just show you. Uh, this is Nagatoro. It's a it's a character from an anime called uh, "Please Stop, Please Don't Bully Me, Nagatoro-san," something like that. And the idea is that uh, you can interact with this AI. You can basically ask uh, it anything. Uh, you type a message over here, and then you click the send message, or the or you just press the enter button, and you are going to get an answer down here. Uh, so let's just uh, prompt it. So I, I have an issues here because uh, uh, my script is, is detecting that I am using Spanish here. So suddenly from time, th this is a bug that I need to fix. Uh, so the AI, the AI is answering me in Spanish right now. Uh, but that's a bug, I need to, to change it because uh, it's uh, when you are working with AI, uh, you, you, <coughs> you need to really consider yourself like uh, uh, it's not, a deterministic issue so it's not like a regular programming where you're sending a prompt and you already know what you are going to get if you run it again and this this is not the case uh, i believe okay i said in english but anyway uh let me see if i can use the ai to correct itself uh, let's see there we go i already did this Okay, so the AI is uh, is actually understanding what I want to do. Uh, I'm going to uh, ask her politely to please uh, keep talking and uh, uh, keep writing in English. Okay, so uh, let's see if the AI is actually going to stick to English, because from time to time it changed to Spanish, because in previous tests I be I was talking and I was uh, interacting with it in Spanish. So from so the AI already knows that my main language is actually Spanish, so that's why it's switching. So. So remember that uh, this AI is uh, answering like the character. So if you had more like, um, I chose this because uh, I haven't watched the anime yet, uh, but I know it's really good and I'm planning to watch it sometime. Uh, but also because the premise is really fun and the main uh, reason why uh, I chose this character in particular is because uh, in order to train the AI, what I need is a lot of uh, uh, text data, specifically text data. And manga characters, movie characters, boot characters, uh, if there is something that I can find very easily and for free, is, uh, is text-based uh, data. So I can use that text data to train the, the, the AI model in order to continue interacting with me and in, in this case, uh, it's, it's giving me a long answer right here. Uh, I did some shopping with friends and then went to a cafe, of course. I had some mischievous fun too. Senpai, what what kind of mischievous fun? Uh, oh, well, here uh, I'm getting another, um, another issue. Uh, I guess that the, uh, in order to continue on with the conversation, uh, the AI is actually... Uh, uh, filling in the gaps uh, in order to keep the entire interaction between the senpai, which is another character on the uh, on the manga series. So what I see here is that the AI is actually uh, uh, filling in the gaps to continue the um, 
the conversation here. So uh, it's not it's it's a bug maybe. Uh, well, it is a bug, but it, it, here's the thing: when you're working with AI, uh, it's not deterministic. So basically, uh, it's not like it's not like asking the computer how much is one plus one. Uh, even uh, we can actually ask that. Let's make an experiment here. Dude, that's, uh, that was easy. No need to be so anxious, see? So, uh, uh, it depends on the query or whatever message you are inputting here, but the AI uh, is, is actually enclosing the interaction uh, on this universe, on the manga series universe. So if you want to to uh, uh, pull away from that world is going to be really, really hard. And what the AI is doing is actually filling in uh, messages from your part in order to keep the conversation within this universe. Uh, but anyway, uh, as long as I get access to a lot of uh, text data, I can continue uh, prompting this. Uh, this AI and ask, and ask uh, it, uh, different questions about something else, for example. Uh, uh, do you know what country do you live? It should say Japan. There we go. Uh, Japan, silly. And... Well, now, uh, well, here it switched back to Spanish because uh, in my previous test, <coughs> in my previous tests, I was prompting it in Spanish. So the AI, the AI already knows uh, that I am a, a Spanish speaker. Uh, so uh, you mu if you are working with AI, you must be very careful on the language switching. Uh, because eventually uh, the AI is going to figure out, you know what, uh, uh, this guy has been talking to me in Spanish for a, a long time. So uh, so suddenly you're going to uh, see that, uh, well, I am uh, bilingual right now. So that's um, that may be an issue, but it depends on the user, uh, basically, because as long as you are keep interacting with it, uh, As long as you keep interacting with it, uh, eventually it's going to correct itself. But uh, the model for this AI is going to require a lot of data. And as long as you are able to get a lot of uh, text data for that matter, uh, it, it, should, it should just work. But anyway, uh, I want to keep this one short. Uh, I think I've been talking for a long time anyway. Thank you.